Ladies and gentlemen, I have a bit of a heavy topic to cover tonight. Uh, I'm going to try to keep it short, but uh, one of my viewers, somebody that I've been talking back and forth with, uh, his family, he's, he's a young guy, and his family has been going through um, financial heck this past year. I've been there. Uh, as you guys know, if you've been watching my channel for a couple of years, you know that we went through a very dire time last year, and it was only a family member bailing us out that kept us from being able to, or kept us from losing our house and everything that we own. Um, so his family, the Miller family had their electricity shut off because they couldn't pay their bills. Uh, and then they were using a generator and, uh, to keep the electricity going in the house so that they had heat. Now they live in Maine and it's very cold there. So, uh, you do what you can to stay warm. So they had this generator going on, you know, long story short, about a week and a half ago, the generator caught on fire. It destroyed the garage it killed some of their pets and it left them basically homeless um, because the home was water damaged and smoke damaged. I did uh, verify this. I went on to, after he told me what happened, I was like, I just want to make sure before I tell people to start giving money. Uh, so without him knowing, I went on and Googled it. And sure enough, it the news story came up here on Fox News. It says the house was saved, but unfortunately it doesn't tell you that there's, it it tells you further in the details that there's a lot of smoke damage and water damage and that the garage was a total loss. So when there's smoke damage in a home, when there's water damage in a home, the people are not, they get, they don't get evicted, but they get kicked out of the house until, um, the insurance can come in hopefully and repair the home and get it back up to living conditions. I don't know if you guys know this, but when your house gets filled up with, with a fire and there's water in the house and it gets in the walls and stuff, you then have a mold issue. So, um, they have to remediate that, which means basically they have to tear out all the walls. I, I have a friend that does fire restoration, so uh, I'm very aware of what happens when you have a fire and when the fire department comes out and, and puts the fire out. It, the smoke damage, anything that you know has the smoke smell on it, you have to get rid of because you can't get the smell out. And anywhere there, where there's water, you're going to have mildew and you're going to have mold. So that has to be removed from the house and replaced. So unfortunately, even though he didn't, the house didn't burn down, it's been severely damaged. So they are now living in a hotel. And, um, obviously what I would like to do with my channel here is to, you know, when we have things like this happen, one, those of you guys that, you know, are prayerful Christian people, <laughs> I want you to be praying for Dewey, the Miller family. Um, but the second thing too, is, uh, I told Dewey and he, he didn't even, he did not request this. So once again, this is my idea, not his, but I didn't want his financial information. You know, I could have told him like, hey, I'll set something up for you, but I didn't want it. So I said, I emailed him and I said, Dewey set up a, a donation page and send it to me and then I will put it on YouTube. So he set this up, but, um, I, I am the one who, who suggested this. He wasn't doing it before. I said, I actually sent him this site, the give forward site. I said, well, here's a site that is, you know, supposedly pretty good at doing this. And so he went ahead and set up an account. So, uh, if you guys could, you know, like I said, I hate asking for money. Uh, and if you can't give money, that's fine. Just, you know, keep them in your thoughts and keep them in your prayers. But if you can give money, you can give like 10, 10 bucks, maybe, or 15 bucks, 20 bucks. You know, I got a lot of viewers. There's a, there's almost 8,000 subscribers out there right now. If we each, each gave like 10 bucks, they would have enough money to, to survive for the next like three or four months. So, um, you know, it's, it's not a whole lot of money. I'm, I've already transferred money out of my PayPal account. It'll be in my, my bank account in two or three days and I'll be able to, to give him, you know, a donation and, and I'm, I'm doing it for sure. And I, I'd, I'd like to see you guys from my channel do it too. So they have a, you know, an ability to do it through credit cards. I wish they had a PayPal, but they don't, but they have, uh, if you have a credit card or, or debit card or whatever to donate, that's pretty easy to do. So anyway, I will put the link for this down in my channel links. And, um, you know, like I said, if we can come together as a community and help, you know, doing his family, I would, you know, it'd be really nice to be able to do that. So, um, anyway, the thoughts are there and hopefully we'll be able to do it. Have a great night guys. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you on the tube.